It is time for an upgrade. I have taken down the tarps in the lab and we are going to bring the lab to a whole nother level today. Let's get started. Hey everybody and welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. And today, as I said, we're gonna upgrade the lab. We're gonna give it a facelift because the screen that I was hitting into, it's I've used it for a year, okay? And it took thousands of strikes from golf balls and it lasted for a while and it got me by until now. And now is the time to take it to the next level. And I wanna give a special thanks to the Indoor Golf Shop out of Dallas, Texas for partnering with me to help to bring you, my subscribers, a promo code to get discounts on all of the great stuff that they have on their website. Anything from a small practice area in your backyard to a more elaborate practice area in your garage, all the way up to a complete home simulator experience, top of the line with all of the bells and whistles. The Indoor Golf Shop has every component you need. They have everything from hitting mats to impact screens to enclosures to the best, the best simulators that you can get on the market, including the Garmin R10, which is what I'm using out here. In the description box below in every one of my videos, a link to their website will be there as well as the promo code to be able to save you money moving forward. I asked them specifically to provide me with a promo code to help my subscribers save money in trying to create their own home golf simulators. Now on to today's project, which is the DIY golf enclosure from the Indoor Golf Shop. If you go to their website, you can purchase the complete golf enclosure, which includes the impact screen, the side barriers, the shank guards, the foam padding, the ball bungees. It includes all of the connectors that you need to be able to put the frame together and the poles. However, however, with this DIY kit, for somebody who's not afraid to get their hands a little bit dirty and who has just a little bit, just a little bit of know-how, this is less than half the cost of that full SIG Pro enclosure of the same size. That is a tremendous savings and the only difference, the only difference is they don't send out the poles that you need to create the frame. The eight by 10 and a half is the one that I have and the cost of those pipes all together was about, at the time of making this video, about $180. The amount of money that you are going to save by getting the DIY kit itself is going to be substantial. What you've got is a major savings and what I would consider to be the best value in the market for simulator enclosures. I looked around when I was trying to deck out the lab and trust me, this is by far the best value out there. I haven't seen anything like it and really, I'm gonna show you just how simple this is gonna be, and don't be intimidated by cutting the pipes or buying the pipes, it's really no big deal. You can even have the store cut the pipes for you. All right, so let's see what's in these boxes. This is the smaller box that comes with it. Again, I ordered the eight by 10 and a half. The actual dimensions of that are gonna be a little bit larger. It's a little bit taller, it's closer to eight and a half feet tall, and it's closer to 11 feet wide but I measured my space, which is something that you need to do. Now, these connectors, these junctions, are gonna be where the pipes come together and this holds the frame together. Each one of these is meant to accept a piece of one inch EMT. It slips into this coupler and then there's a little bolt up here on top that you'll tighten down to lock that in place. This first box is full of all those components. Let's set that aside for a second. This foam padding goes up into the corners of the inside of your box and it protects all of the pipes and it also covers them up to make it look nicer. Let's get to the impact screen itself. Wow, I can already tell you. I mean, just between pulling down the, the painter's drop cloth, now that was a 12 ounce canvas drop cloth that I used, between pulling that thing down and just feeling what it was made out of and then just putting my hands on this thick padded impact screen, I mean, it's, it's night and day. It really is night and day. You wanna talk about an upgrade. This is a major, major upgrade. So everything is gonna be just double stitched. This is folded front and back to protect it. You see the Velcro. This is a thick, a thick padding back here. I really didn't expect this. I thought it was just gonna be a screen, but it feels almost like, I don't know, like a really thick neoprene suit, almost like a, a thick scuba suit. And you can see that it's it's got a little bit of a reflective property. So when you're casting, 
your, your image from your projector up onto the screen, it's really gonna shine, it's really gonna make it crisp. And this thing is meant to take a real beating. I should be able to hit tens of thousands of golf balls into this screen uh, over seasons to come and, and just have a blast with it. You'll notice that the grommet holes, that's what you call these, are grommets, metal grommets. Uh, these holes, they're gonna accept the ball bungees that you, you lace through it, and then that in turn wraps around all of the piping and holds it, gives it almost sort of a, a mild trampoline effect so it can accept the energy of the golf ball. Next up in the bag is going to be this apron. This apron goes around the top and down the sides to create the enclosure part of the enclosure. Otherwise, it would just be an impact screen. Now, this is gonna serve a couple of purposes. Number one, if the ball were to come off a little weird, if you hit like toward the extremities of the screen itself, it's gonna protect against any sort of glancing you know, stray golf balls that might fly off. This thing comes out, I think about four to five feet from the back of the screen to the front. So there's side barriers, but it also cleans it up. It gives it a really nice look. Again, the bungee balls go through this and then that creates the enclosure part of the enclosure. This is the side barrier netting or what I call the shank guards. Again, the double stitching reinforced here. These are gonna be triangular shaped and they're gonna come off of the right and the left side of these outer aprons. This is one of the sandbags. Uh, they do not come with sand because that would make the shipping just psychotic. You'd be paying to ship sand. And then lastly, you're gonna get a couple of bundles of the bungee balls. You can take that loop, go around the top of the ball and it hangs on. That's again, gonna give this thing a little bit of elasticity so it can absorb the energy from the golf ball that's flying into the screen and drop it right back down to earth. Now I thought I'd show you how easy this is. There's a lot of different options you can use to cut these pipes. Like I said, at the store, when you purchase these, you can find some stores that will cut these for you. If they will not, you can use a compound miter saw with a fiber blade. You can use a grinder with a, a fiber blade on it. You can use a hacksaw and a miter box, or you can use a pipe cutter. Now this is not the heaviest duty pipe cutter in the world. And truth be told, you should probably use one that's a little bit heavier duty than this, but this is the one I have. So I just crank down on it a little bit, get it tight, and then you just spin it around a little bit. And when you first start spinning it around after you tighten it down, it does give you a little bit of resistance, but then it starts to loosen up a little bit. And after you spin around, I think probably, I have to crank down on this about five times and then spin it around two or three times with each crank. Eventually, the end of the pipe comes off. After you get these cut down, it's time to assemble. My youngest daughter came out to assist. You can see how truly helpful she is during the whole process. <laughs> uh, this is a one-man show. I put it together all by myself. You can do the same. You just need a five-foot ladder and you need a wrench or a pair of pliers or something to tighten the bolts down. You'll need a tape measure and a sharpie to be able to mark your poles so that you can cut them with the tube cutter or the saw, whichever you prefer to use. And then once you get everything set up, a helpful little tip is to install the barrier on the sides and the top and then install the screen itself using the bungee balls which i'm not showing you here just because it's boring footage but then once you do that you may need to loosen some of the bolts and adjust your frame accordingly all right i had to make a quick wardrobe change i was getting hot out here and i needed to get out of my jeans and my work shirt in order to get into something ready to strike some golf balls this is it it's complete. All in all, I'd say you could set this thing up in a couple of hours by yourself. You really don't have to have a lot of specialized tools and it looks fantastic. It's, uh, I've already hit a couple of golf balls. I cheated. I know I've hit a few golf balls into it. And with the old setup that I had, the tarp, you would not only hear the impact of the club hitting the golf ball, but then you would also hear the impact on the tarp itself with the golf ball when it made contact. With this, it is a dead sound. This is such a thick padded foam that it not only removes the sound of the golf ball hitting the impact screen, but it also deadens the sound in my entire garage because it's really thick and it's almost like one giant sound and shock absorber. Guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up by saying this. If you are on the fence about a home golf simulator, go to their website, use my promo code, get the discounts. If you're this close to pulling the trigger on it, hopefully the discount and a recommendation from me and my experience with them will help push you on to the other side of the fence and get you to finally pull the trigger and treat yourself to a home simulator. It doesn't have to be elaborate, but it can be as elaborate as you would like it to be. It really depends on your budget. And I say this much, with the Garmin R10 making simulators affordable now, 
making simulators like this that has this good performance out of it very affordable and now with the DIY SIG Pro screen that you can assemble yourself and save a ton of money off of the cost of a normal enclosure and the quality on this is unbelievable all of this adds up to mean that simulators can now be more attainable for more people and with the winter time coming for a lot of us and, and seasonal golf in a lot of areas where you can't get out to play or practice, the weather's just not permitting, or maybe it's just too crowded. I can come out here and play anytime I want until my heart's content. I can have friends over, family over. The simulator experience is unbelievable. I highly recommend at least doing some investigation and entertaining the idea. I don't think you'll regret it. So until next time, I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you watching this one. Go check out the Indoor Golf Shop. Click the link down below and use the promo code. Tell them Chad sent you from Golf Test Dummy. See you next time.